What's going on guys? One thing you need to start seeing on Amazon FBA is to treat it like a video game. But unfortunately, most people don't see it this way. This is why, you know, we see a lot of people who start Amazon FBA end up quitting because they struggle to find sales, find profitable products, and just other obstacles along the way. I sold over $2 million in the past couple of years with Amazon, so I've definitely learned a lot in terms of experience. And here's how you can win on the Amazon FBA video game. We need to understand three key things. Step one is create your strong character. Step two is how you can train and prepare for battle. And step three is how you can really start your adventure. This framework is gonna help you make sense of the process and how you can actually succeed with the uncertainty and chaos going on. And the most important valuable thing is going to be knowledge. So treat this video as kind of like your guidebook on how you can succeed and win. So when you start seeing Amazon as a video game, you know, you have you as, as your character, right? You have a character that you can play. And the question is, can your character become a great character? And the obvious answer is yes, right? Like you can get better skills, you can become stronger, so on and so forth. But in the beginning, you obviously can't expect to make $50,000 per month and fight the big boss. You know, you can work your way up obviously to 5,000 per month, all the way to 10,000. I'm currently in the same uh, boat right now as I am leveling up my own character. This might sound cliche and obvious because the more time you spend on it, the better you're just gonna get and become stronger. All right, so let's start with part one on how you can get started and build your strong character. So first we need to understand like what is exactly your mission when you're starting Amazon FBA and the game in order to win this is to sell as much product and have as much profit as possible. So fulfillment by Amazon or Amazon FBA in short makes this easy for you as you already know, you know they're gonna take care of the shipping, packing, handling, and all the customer service. So your job just becomes, you know, finding and sourcing these products, then send it to Amazon Warehouse. So you wanna think of this as kinda of like your sidekick that's taking care of all the side mission behind the scenes. So your focus is gonna be just the main thing. And just like how you start every single video game, you have to create your character, basically AKA your business, so you're gonna start naming it and making that account. All right guys, to start building your strong character, you're gonna to wanna to go to sellercentral.amazon.com to create a, an account to start selling on Amazon. So here we are right here. We're gonna hit and click on sign up. All right, so it's gonna bring you to the next page here and what you're gonna do is create your Amazon account. So go ahead and do that. And this is pretty simple. And I get a lot of questions is do I need an LLC to start making an account? Uh, the simple ask, answer is no, you don't need one. I started with a personal account and you can get started with that with a free account. Then if you end up liking the Amazon thing, obviously you can upgrade to the professional account, which costs $40 a month. But to get started, uh, remove as much friction as possible is just to create an account really like, I'm sure you've done it a million times with other websites. Pretty simple, your name, email, password, so on and so forth. And Amazon's gonna send you a verification code. You continue on doing that. Don't worry about your actual business name you can change that anytime once you have an account so don't get stuck on that then after Amazon's gonna send you a postcard in the mail which takes about five to ten business days that's super important just because to make sure that the address that you had input it is your actual address so it's a pin five digit code that you just need to verify once you receive that in the actual mail so once you do that, the next step is going to be choosing a method on how you can start selling on Amazon. So there's three, actually four main ways how you can start selling. I actually made a video in depth going about that. So the link will be somewhere on the top right here or in the link in the description below. Go ahead and check it out. Uh, went over different ways how you can start selling on Amazon as a beginner. Also, if you guys had found value in this video, please hit the subscribe, share, and like button because it's going to help me grow this channel and just allows me to make more videos for you guys to watch and enjoy. So once you make your account, we're gonna start choosing your hero or your character. It basically equals to like what kind of method you wanna sell. You know, you have your online arbitrage, your retail arbitrage, your wholesale, and your private label method. And my tip to you as a beginner just starting out is to pick any of these methods. It doesn't matter to start, but if you really want the easiest way is going to be the arbitrage method, whether it's online and retail, and stick to it for a couple months or at least a year just to see how the, everything is going. The reason for that is you don't wanna have a, a lot of options. 
You just wanna to stick to one, master it, then eventually once you start seeing some success or get the ball rolling per se, you can start dabbling into the other options like wholesale or private label, which is a little bit more advanced. Um, I started with the arbitrage method just cause I didn't have a lot of capital to begin with. So I had to build it up. So now it kind of allows me to have different methods cause I've been doing it for a couple of years now. So yeah, definitely follow the steps, pick one, build your character to a great level then you can start expanding. Then after you've done that, now you're ready for step two, which is you're going to train and prepare for battle. Choosing the right softwares for your Amazon FBA business is like choosing the right weapon in order to fight and train for battle so you can become strong and successful. So we'll go over a good starter pack for a beginner. And actually, I still use the software today to run my multi-million dollar Amazon FBA business. So the first software is you need to have some sort of profit calculator because it's going to make your life easier. Uh, the profit calculator I use all the time because it allows me to see how much profit I'm going to make, you know, after all the fees, because everyone's really concerned about the fees and the cost and all that. Make sure when I'm buying it, I'm making money. So let's go ahead and take a look at here with the Nike socks. So this is the buy box here at $23. That's what the customer sees when they're shopping on amazon.com. And as you can see, it matches up the profit calculator. We are currently using Ace and Zen here. I've tried different ones. This is by far my favorite, just because the software gets updated constantly with whatever changes going on Amazon. So it's very useful. $23 is the buy, uh, buy box, as I said. So let's say, for example, you can found this product um, either at Nike, you know, factory store or online. Let's just make up a number here at $12. Okay, so you can see right now we are not making any money. If you hit this little I information here, it gives you the FBA seller breakdown fees. As you can see, the sell price, the referral fee, uh, storage and all that, fulfillment, me uh, fulfillment fee, buy cost, which is $12, the inbound shipping. So as you can see, it really breaks it down for you. So right off the bat, you can see if you're making money or not. It just, again, makes your life a lot easier. Uh, that's super useful. So for example, let's say, we had found this product for $5, right? Again, we're using examples here. Uh, you can see on the fee there, it kind of changes and how much profit you got and super accurate. That's why I love this uh, software. It also shows you the BSR. BSR basically stands for best seller rank. Uh, and the rule of thumb is of that is the lower the number, the faster and more volume it sells. Like for example, like this one, estimated sales of 5,000. 19 per month revenue of over 100k so it just shows you an example there so obviously a bsr that's a lot higher is going to have lower monthly sales per month and lower revenue as well all right guys so weapon number two that you need to add in your arsenal that will make you successful is going to be keepa and this is a number one recommendation for me if you want to be successful because keepa is basically your cheat code so we're going to scroll down here and i have the keepa extension downloaded here it, they do have a free and a paid version just go ahead with the paid version if you're going to take this thing seriously so currently i have the buy box you can see right here the buy box, as we mentioned currently, is $23. But with Keepa, as I mentioned, it's like a cheat code because you can go back in history and see how much the items were selling previously so you can have an idea. And again, if you are a beginner, I would spend majority of my time mastering this Keepa skill. Use this weapon because it's super powerful. It's going to be a game changer once everything starts to click. If you're a beginner, you might be frustrated on not being a good Keepa uh, chart reader. But again, it takes time. I was in the same boat not too long ago. But again, I kept doing it every single day, spending as much time, the stronger you're gonna get. So always keep that in mind. Um, so we can see the buy box here three months ago. We can go back to a year or whenever the product was originally listed in Amazon, you know, back in 2017. So we'll go back to three months. You can see the buy box here. If you go down here, you can actually see the new offer count. Those are the other people selling on the same listing. As you can see at the bottom here, three months ago, there were 22 offers. Uh, now it's kind of like more sellers here, 81, and currently it's got like 64, 63. So at the moment, you can just take a glance, like right now, this is a hot product. A lot of people are in the competition. So that, that's gonna help you with your buying decision, whether it's gonna be a good one or not. Is the price gonna go down or up? This Keepa chart, you're gonna start seeing trends and the more you look at it, the more time you spend. I can't explain it and say it more, but again, it's gonna help you in, in total. You can even go to data here. You have these different, different tabs, uh, offers, going in detail and stuff like that. This is a little bit more advanced, but again, I just wanna show you like 
how much information you can really get out of it and uh, the possibilities out there. And me, I'm constantly learning about the Skipa, even though I'm using it for a couple of years now. So always spend time as much on your weapons and tools that's just gonna make you stronger and hone your skills. So weapon number three we're gonna go over is a repricer. So imagine an AI software that will reprice your items 24 seven, including when you are sleeping to make sure you're competitive and getting sales. So this is what Be Cool will do for you. When I first started Amazon FBA, you know, I did a lot of things manually just cause I didn't know about softwares like this. I would go back in there, put in the minimum, the maximum, minimum, maximum, minimum. By the time I know it would have been an hour or two hours and you know, I had hundreds of products. So using a repricer like a Beagle will save you not just money, but time as well from doing this repricer. So let's take a look at here with the tabs. So you can see on the top, you have your buy cost here. Uh, you can put in however you had purchased it. You have your minimum price and you have your maximum price. Then the AI rule, depending on the different rules uh, available here, um, you can do whatever you want it to be basically. So the minimum price is allows the software to let them know it's like, hey, don't go below this minimum price. So for example, like 3250, that's the lowest they'll go. And maximum price, technically you can set it as much you know, whatever price you demand, but I just put it here at 45 bucks, just for example. And so the repricer, what it will do is just price between those numbers that you had input it, depending on the competition, the buy box and all that stuff. It's basically a set it, forget it, depending on the rule you had put in. And again, at the end of the day, the most valuable thing in this world is going to be your time. And in order for you to really grow and become uh, successful, you can spend your time into a much better return of investment. I'm not saying this is not, but when you're starting, you want to maximize and be efficient as possible. You can either spend that time either sourcing, finding more products, you know, so on and so forth. So now you have the right tools, softwares, and weapons in order for you to begin your adventure, which leads us to part three of this video. So part three, when starting your adventure, can be broken into three main things. It's gonna be sourcing, buying, and managing your inventory. So this is the part where you can actually put everything together in order for you to really level up your business, aka your character. So number one is sourcing. This will be the foundation of your Amazon FBA business. You wanna think of this as kind of like your health in terms of the video game, and this is gonna determine of your total sales. So in simple terms, you're gonna to wanna to remember if you wanna get more sales, you simply have to source more products because that's gonna allow you know people that shopping on amazon.com to purchase your items. And I made a video about this, so check the link above or somewhere down in the description below where I go in depth on different ways how you can source products, whether that's uh, doing it on the computer, like online arbitrage, wholesale, or uh, retail arbitrage as well, so definitely check that out. And as a caution, sourcing is going to be the biggest hump that holds a lot of Amazon sellers when they're first starting, just because they get frustrated and they lack the patience. And what you need to remember is that it, that is normal. You know, most people give up so easily that, you know, it kind of holds themselves back. And the one thing that I love about Amazon FBA and one thing you can control is sourcing. The amount of time you put in is basically what you get out of it. It's not like a job where you're getting paid salary, no matter, you know, there's, I'm sure you have had coworkers that barely do the minimum versus uh, another coworker that does a lot. But if you're paid salary at the same, at the end of the day, you're gonna get paid the same. But with Amazon, the amount of work that you put in, in terms of sourcing is what you're gonna get. Your input equals your output. So as a beginner, it's definitely normal to put in a lot of work, especially in the beginning. I remember, you know, I spent a lot of hours when I first started and I barely found a few leads. I was frustrated, I'm like, is this thing working? But I knew I had to trust the process that I just had to do this every single day. And you know, it took a couple months, honestly, in order for me to just gain momentum, be more confident in terms of sourcing. So keep that in mind, you know, each person can gain a lot of information quickly. Some can take a little bit to, you know, pick up the skills. So don't compare yourself to other people. Go at your own pace, see what you're comfortable with. But also, you wanna keep in mind to push yourself a little bit harder, kinda of like when you're going to the gym, right? If you've been benching you know, 100 pounds every single time you go to the gym, you're just gonna stay flatline. But if you constantly push, add you know, five pounds in there, 10 pounds you know, every other week, that's where you can really start to see progress. So second part is buying. So once you have found products you can source, now it's start to invest, basically buy these products in order for you to start making money or profit for your Amazon FBA business. And just kind of like how we went over earlier with 
with Ace and Zen um, example, that's where you can really see the potential of how much profit you can make. So imagine sourcing, you know, multiple products per day and buying in volume. This is where everything starts to come together. Uh, having the right software to use, basically weapons and the skill that you're gonna put together, it's just gonna lead you to the road to success. But again, as I mentioned, it's gonna take a little bit of time. So don't be uh, so excited and give up so fast. So securing a great deal and getting your items as slow as possible so that way you can make profit is going to be what winning looks like in terms of the video game. And my tip here is to be really organized in terms of your buying. Uh, when I started, you know, it took me a little bit to do this, but I knew I had wanted to track everything. So a simple thing you can do is create a Google Sheets um, template. And if you really need one or help, just message me down below, comment or send me a message. But what you wanna do in terms of organization, in terms of the Google Sheet, is you wanna have at least some basic info like you know how much you paid for the item, right? The name of the item, uh, which credit card that you use, and what is your potential profit. So those, just basic things like that can really go a long way. Then obviously the more time you spend on it, you can hone that you know, Google Sheet uh, template you have. But if you really need one, feel free to message me. More than happy to share what I currently use. And lastly, managing your inventory. It's going to be balancing your stock levels depending on the demand going on. And this will be a skill that actually, you know, you're gonna learn along the way because it's not something that you can prepare. Uh, managing your inventory will depend on what you're buying, right? So if it's a hot product, that will sell in a week. Obviously, you need to buy it again and replenish it. And some products can take a while. So this is something that you will learn along the way. And that's you know the only thing that I can pretty much explain at this point because it's something that I didn't really expect, but I needed to learn as my back was against the wall and I had to figure something out. Also, you wanna be ready for different side quests like getting returns from customers, right? Like that's a big one. Also managing your cash flow. That's super important as well, especially when you're starting out, you wanna make sure you have enough gas in order for you to make it at least a year in terms of your business. So then once you do that, things will start getting easier. I'll probably make a separate video about this. So comment if you are interested on that, how to really manage your cash flow in order to make sure that you are doing the business correctly because the cash flow is going to be one of your vital lifeblood in order to be successful. In terms of managing inventory, your boss or your final level is going to be Q4. Every single year, you need to start preparing for Q4 holiday season because that will be the busiest time of the year, which you really want to take advantage if you wanted to get the most sales and profit as much as possible. So we know that there's going to be guaranteed sales for Q4, but the question is, you know, how do we prepare for it? And my tip to you is to do it early as possible. You know, June, July, uh, maybe August are gonna be the last months for you to really take advantage of because keep in mind, you have to source the products, right? Then you have to ship it to Amazon. So by the time August, October hits, September, you wanna make sure all your products are ready. Uh, trend that I'm learning now each year is that more people are actually buying a lot earlier rather than later. Big brands already do this like Nike or Adidas. They have to submit their orders a year in advance because keep in mind, you know, they have to design the item. They have to make sure the quality is there. You know, they have to ship it from overseas like China or Vietnam. So it just takes a lot of process. So they actually start a year ahead in order to get their orders for the next season coming up. So the least you can do for your Amazon FBA business if you're reselling items is to start a couple months before the demand comes in. That's it you guys. Now you've got the basic framework on how you can start playing and winning the Amazon FBA game. And remember, just like any game, you can constantly keep on trying and trying as long as you don't give up. So that way you can move on to the next level as long as you learn how to adapt and be patient at the same time. And if you guys want to know the top products to sell on Amazon FBA, check this video out right here. Thank you so much. See you in the next one.